in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best gun bunch defense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Stick around to the end of the video because you're going to want to learn how to shut down the most utilized offense in this game. Now, guys, we're going to be talking in this video about the cover four quarters defense out of the nickel 335 will. And if you've not already picked up my nickel 335 will defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. You can get the defense for just 15 bucks. I also wanted to let you know that if you've not joined my Patreon yet, that's the best way for you to be able to support me as a creator. You're going to get instant access to not only my nickel 335 will defensive ebook, but you're actually going to get instant access to every ebook that I've released so far in the Madden 22 season. So far in the Madden 22 season, I've released 13 ebooks, uh, five on offense and eight on defense you're also going to get ax instant access uh, to every ebook that i'm going to release while your subscription is active we've got several ebooks planned for the month of december as well as several ebooks coming down the road so you're not going to want to miss that stuff so make sure you sign up for the patreon again i'm going to put a link to that down in the description if you would like to sign up for that and in this video like i said we're going to be talking about how you can shut down the gun bunch meta offense and the gun bunch is probably the best offense for the last 10 years in madden and the best way to defend this is through utilizing the cover four quarters match defense um, out of the nickel 335 will you're going to be able to get great pressure from the 335 will which we've broken down in other videos as well as in depth in our ebook but today we're just going to focus on some coverage things that you can do to really slow down a lot of what people are going to want to do out of the gun bunch so that being said, we're going to call the cover four quarters out of this. And all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense. I'm going to manually back off this corner on the left side so that I don't get bombed over the top. And then I'm going to move this guy right here over the center. Now, what I like to do is go ahead and simply crash my defensive line out. And then last but not least, I like to man up the tight end with the linebacker on the left side. And then I like to take one of those defense, defensive linemen, whether it be the nose tackle or the defensive end on the right side there, and put them into a bluff blitz assignment. You're going to see that that is going to put them into a three rec hook zone. So we've got a three rec hook. We've also got the tight end manned up. And what you're going to notice here is your traditional flood that pretty much everybody likes to do. All we're going to do is we're going to open up and look for crossers. If there's no one that crosses to the left side of the field from the bunch side then we're free to help out and basically double team mike evans so in this example you see we open up to the side okay there's nothing there we can come back here and as you can see there's really nowhere for me to go with the football this is why the cover four quarters is the best defense that you can possibly use to defend the gun bunch meta now i'm going to talk about another route combination that is very popular on a gun bunch and that is this right here where essentially what we're going to do is we're going to put our running back on a wheel route and we're going to put that outside receiver on a little out route to try to pull down some of the zones what you're going to notice with this defense is when I go to do that adjustment, you're going to see, again, I'm going to open up. There's nothing there. Now you're going to notice that quarter flat is going to match that wheel route up the vertical seam, and you're not going to be able to throw that route. Now, another popular concept from this uh, formation is the verticals play. Why? Because the crossing route is so, so good. Well, how are you going to be able to combat that crossing route? Is again, we've got that tight end manned up, so we're not going to have to worry about him. We've got our user in the middle of the field, and remember, we are looking for any crossing route from right from right to left that is 5 to 10 yards vertical. So we're not going to cover drag routes, but we are going to cover post routes and crossing routes like what you're about to see out of the play verticals. So again, I'm going to back that corner back off. You see, this is pretty much my setup. I'm going to open up to this side. Do I see a vertical? Oh, I see it. So I'm going to go with it. And as you can see, you're getting fast sheds. You're getting crazy uh, pressure from just a two to three man rush. And you're going to be able to slow down this offense. So that's how we like to stop the verticals concept, all of the flooding concepts. And what that's going to do is it's going to leave people wanting to run this basic concept right here out of the play flood. And I want to show you how uh, we're going to be able to kind of combat even that play setup uh, within how we're going to do our setup. So uh, what you're going to do is, again, remember, you're going to be sitting right here, right? Your guy is on an inside quarter zone. Um, and so you're going to be kind of sitting in the middle of the field. When you open your hips up, you're going to see, oh, the slot's going vertical. We're going to go with him. And as you can see, that completely bags the play flood. Now, another thing that I didn't hit on yet is by manning up the tight in you're going to have that quarter flat whenever they run the flood play the quarter flat is going to have a significant amount more freedom and you're going to be able to take advantage of that in terms of how this is going to defend so uh, just kind of fast forward and through all that and you're going to see right here that if I open and I see something like flood, I'm going to kind of take a step here and then I'm going to come back over here and now they can't throw the in route and they can't throw the out route and you've locked up pretty much 10 to 15 concepts 
that most people like to use out of the gun bunch. You're going to force him to have to throw different things at you, but by and large, the best defense that I have found up to this point for defending the majority of what people like to do out of the gun bunch offense, you can see whether it be a skinny post, something like this right here, or it be the flooding concept that I just showed you, or it be the verticals play that I just showed you. This right here is by far the best defense that I've been able to find for stopping the corner route concepts at a bunch and then you're using pretty much anything that is a post a deep crosser any of those things you're going to be able to take away with your user so i want to thank you for watching this video obviously we go a lot more in depth in our ebook so if you want to get my nickel 335 will defensive guide i'm going to put a link to that in the description you can get that for just 15 bucks but my personal recommendation for you guys if you really want to take your madden game to the next level is to sign up for my patreon by signing up for my patreon it's only 10 bucks a month and you're going to get instant access to every single ebook that I've already released and every ebook that I'm going to release while your subscription is active. You can cancel whenever you would like this 335 will defense that you saw me break down today. The whole ebook is in there alongside a whole separate ebook that is devoted to teaching the basics and the principles of match coverage so that you can run them more effectively in game. I want to thank you for watching this video. And like I said, if you want to take your game to the next level in Madden 22, be sure to sign up for my Patreon. I'm I'm going to put a link to my Patreon membership down in the description below and you can sign up today for just $10.